Hi, here we have another lamp from LPF Light Bulb Fun. Um, it's an old BTH Mazda. Now, this box which it came in shows something that is quite interesting. You'll notice the trademark. It is very reminiscent of the GE trademark with the little loops. And in France, there's another company called Thompson. Thompson Houston, which has once again the same trademark but without the B. These were all companies that were owned at some time by GE in America. As I say, the, this has been dropped now, They've gone under various takeovers, and that's so it's a piece of history. On this lamp you had the name at the back, Mazda, which uh, in America referred to a type of lamp, but in the uh, rest of the world is the actual manufacturer. Lamps for better lighting throughout your home. And it also gives you a rundown of what at the time was the recommended wattages for certain rooms and I'll slowly go down have a little look a scullery was like a small room attached to the uh, the kitchen it was a small room cellars obviously underground in America it would be the, uh, the basement our cellars were mainly to where the, uh, the coal went it was dumped down the whole multi-light fittings, attic, that's the loft. 40 watt box room, larder lavatory. Coal shed, oh, that, that dates it doesn't it, coal shed. Wardrobe, linen, cupboard, under stairs cupboard. A lot of the English houses had under the stairs a little cupboard which normally held the gas meter, the electric meter and the uh, the main switches to turn the juice off and the water stopcock made in England by the British Thompson Houston Company Limited Rugby England and their trademark was the, uh, the dancing lady which is a famous trademark their thing was stay brighter longer Anyhow, let's look at the bulb. Let's look at the bulb itself. I'll see if we, maybe if we can show the edge. As I say, this was, was one of uh, uh, Desi's bulbs that we exchanged. Um, and I don't know if you can just see it. 250 volt, 25 watt. The Mazda name with BTH underneath. And it's got a code. It looks like 8.3. Made in England, code 83. Now, rather interesting, this has what I call the typical European type of uh, neck. But I know when this make first was sort of manufactured in this country, it was virtually like an American bulb. But this is obviously made in Britain. The um, lead in was are unfused. It's obviously single coil being only well I say only 25 watt but I believe they did did at later times bring out a coil coil in 25 watts. The old screw base the old blob of solder Let's pop it in and see if, see if she works. Always check the voltage on these because I say it's, um, I'm assuming it's going to be our voltage, which it is 250, 25. Let's give it a whirl. The Variac is, is on. And there we are. Nice, turn the other one off. A nice gentle glow. A 25 watt 
inside frost. Uh, that will please Ethan because he he rather likes the inside frost. They are nice. It gives a, a, a sort of a gentle light. So that's the Mazda lamp, 25 watt, 250 volts. Thanks for watching. Once again, please subscribe, please comment, please rate. And thank you again. Thank you.